we have none other than Chris Gopalakrishnan, the co-founder of Infosys and the founder of Axelor Ventures, decoding the similarities and differences between artificial intelligence, machine learning and the Internet of Things. Listen in. When uh, computers mimic human beings, they show human-like capabilities, that's called artificial intelligence. For example, if they can recognize spoken speech or spoken word, um, you know, that's a form of artificial intelligence. When they recognize objects, that's a form of uh, artificial intelligence. Machine learning is one of the ways in which they will uh, demonstrate these capabilities or we enable the computer to uh, demonstrate these capabilities. So, for example, speech recognition through machine learning means that we give sample speeches and tell the computer this is what that speech indeed means. So that through learning, the computer becomes capable of doing this task. Internet of Things is completely different. It means that there is intelligence or computing in everything that we see, the things that we see. Uh, so for example, there could be intelligence built into a thermometer, uh, which controls, let's say, the uh, room temperature. Or there could be an intelligence in the car which directs it to go to a particular location, the GPS in your car, right? So when you embed computing in things and allow these to be interconnected, allow these to give you data, information, maybe even advice. That's what is Internet of Things. It's pervasive computing, computing in everything that we see. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash etnow and don't forget to click the like button. You can also follow us on Twitter at etnowlive. To stay updated with all our programming, hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel by logging on to youtube.com slash user slash etnow.